one team, one heartbeat. It will happen for us, one mission. Welcome to Inside LSU Gymnastics. Along with LSU head coach Didi Bro, I'm Mike Smith. Well, tonight the LSU Tigers took their show on the road to Auburn Arena and took Auburn to the limit. And the Fighting Tigers of LSU remain undefeated at 5-0 in the SEC and continue to cruise in the 2015 season, now ranked second nationally in the polls. And Didi, it was a fantastic effort. Your team went down to the wire with Auburn yeah. tonight and put a dagger and a punctuation mark at the end. Well, and you need to you need to win these hard ones you know, on the road, too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, to be at home and have that much enthusiasm as, as Auburn did, and they got the momentum going. Yeah. We never got momentum. We just kept fighting and fighting. Great meet. Absolutely fabulous meet. And we'll get to the highlights momentarily, but Didi, the reason why the ladies are able to compete at such a high level on the floor is because they practice so hard in the gym, but of course, in the classroom as well, and the academic gala that was had this week showed that the Tigers really have muscle in the classroom as well. You know, and Mike, I think this is one of the most um, gracious, rewarding things that the athletic department does. Uh, the academic center, uh, everybody comes together. And it was up in the in the mm -hmm. new Tiger Stadium, right. the, the new room up there, and what a great event! And you know, the gymnastics team really dominated. You you know the. Michelle Goche wins one of one of the many outstanding student athletes at LSU, and mm -hmm. she was one of the Wally Pontiff Award winners. Reagan Corville was the female athlete of the year. Um, our team really, really shined in the community service yep. category, and then we also did very, very well um, in all categories. We won the award called the Tiger Cup, which is the culmination at the end of the year of who has the highest SEC finish, the team with the most community service, and the team with the highest GPA. The gymnastics team once again won the Tiger Cup. It means a, really a lot to um, each and every one of us that um, we stay on top of our athletics and we stay in the community, and we know it means a lot to everyone around us as well. It feels great. Um, it just goes to show that all of us, um, you know, come together for one common goal, not only to be great in, you know, school, but also great in gymnastics and great, you know, in the community. We're about being one and we're about being a family and to be able to go out into our community and uh, incorporate other people and help people along their journey. Um, it's just really such a blessing and, you know, a fun part of LSU Gymnastics. Well, Didi, you know, the kids are really doing a great job in the gym, as we said before. But, you know, right across the street from the gym, the freshman dorm makes the fact that their commute, if you will, is pretty close not only to the classes, but also to the practice gym. They're really loving it. Well, you know, and they pass that construction site every time they go back and forth. And it is, it, it's so convenient. It's so easy. And the kids love it. It's an apartment. Sure. And they, they move in. They kind of settle in. They decorate. And, you know, look at it. They love it. And the construction you're talking about is the brand new LSU gymnastics yeah. training facility, which if you haven't seen it, you need to go online and check it out on lsusports.net. But you know, let's go behind the scenes and take a look, a sneak peek at the LSU freshman dorm. Hi, I'm Aaron. Hi, I'm Maya. And we're standing in front of our new facility that's currently being built for next year. Other than the fact that it's going to be state of the art and awesome, it's only a three minute walk from where we live. Let's go check it out. You see how close it is? We're here only like a minute and we're already almost there. This is where I stay. I like putting up decorations just to feel more comfortable, less homesick and everything. I have like a skyline of San Francisco over here and some art that I've done by myself. And I like to keep the LSU spirit in with me so I have go and Christmas lights. And I really like purple. So that's my favorite color. So here I did the LSU and Christmas lights again to, to go with the go. And I did the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge to go with the San Francisco skyline. I do not have as many things on the wall as Aaron, but I'm a very neat and organized person. So over here I have a few pictures of me and my best friend from home right over my bed so I can see it before I go to sleep. My bed is nice and neat and I like it made before I get out of my house every morning. Over here is my desk area where I have my printer and my desk lamp. I also have a sign that says Dream Bay because that's my favorite saying. Everything I need for the morning is all right here, right in front of my mirror so I can get ready really quick and head off to class with enough sleep. Um, so this is my room. 
and dead. And then I have a lot of things on my walls. Uh, this my best friend made for me. She goes to college at Alabama, and so for graduation, she made that for me to hang up. And she also made the M for my birthday, my 17th birthday. That. And then over here, um, Audrey Hepburn. I love her. Uh, she's amazing and so pretty. So it's basically just kind of a book of her life and pictures. Um, and then I have this lamp, which they don't have lamps in their rooms, but I usually actually don't use the overhead light. <laughs> um, it's a lot more cozy with that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a baby me <laughs> doing vault. <laughs> when I, I think I was probably two or three in that picture. That pretty much sums it up here at West Campus. Thank you for taking the tour with us. Let's take it back to Coach Bro and Mike. Well, Didi, I'll tell you, the momentum is just unbelievable this spring on the LSU campus. And, you know, you've been playing your role in the, as, as basketball cheerleader as well up in the student section, and you've been getting more and more coaches to come along with you. You know, we want those kids to come out to our events. My feeling is if we want these kids to come and, and be, be ferocious Tigers at our events, then we better go to their events and we better be a part of, of them. Um, so I started sitting in the student section and um, marketing of course pushed it and then I got some other coaches to come with me. And then the, the big exclamation on this week was Coach Miles. Coach Miles. Coach Miles. We had a blast. It was, it was absolutely fabulous night. We almost won. Absolutely. We almost won. We almost beat a better Kentucky team. Yeah. It was a great night. Well, there was so much excitement on campus, Didi, and it's going to continue on Friday night when the LSU Tigers host the Florida Gators. And when we come back, we'll take a look at all of the excitement from Auburn Arena when we come back inside LSU Gymnastics. Inside LSU Gymnastics has been brought to you by Gulf Coast Office Products, Tiger Spotters, Air Now, Flying Tigers Gymnastics Camp, and by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial, lending the way home buyers prefer. Welcome back to Inside LSU Gymnastics. Tonight from the Auburn Arena on the plains of Auburn, Alabama, and the LSU Tigers were on fire tonight. Started the very first rotation as the way team does on the uneven bars. And Didi, the team turned in a fine performance on the road. And Jessica Savona starts you off with a 9-8 solid effort. Well, she did, and one judge gave her a 9-8-5, and the other judge was considerably lower. Sure. But I, I felt 9-8-5 would have really got this team off on a, on a much sure. better start. But you know, the, the second person, Ashley Knapp, right. um, great job. Bugs was great. Handstands, handstands were really great. Handstands did a good job, but then you go to Zamardi, and I gotta keep, I gotta tell you, she's getting better and better and better, and I am so proud of, of what she's been able yeah. to bring to this team this year. And you really love her in that middle spot, in that oh, number three yeah. spot. Yeah, Randy Wyrick, you know, beautiful handstands, did a great job, and then she decides she's gonna move that foot a little bit again on that dismount, and I think that's the thing that just really jumped on Jay's back more than anything, yeah. was the, the lack of discipline sure. on, on those kinds of, of performances. Um, Reagan Carville did a beautiful bar routine. Sure. You know, had, had great lines, great rhythm. You know, the, the score didn't indicate how just how good that routine was. And how great was it to have Jesse Jordan back after a week's oh, hiatus yeah. uh, due to that, uh, yeah. that small injury. But, you know, she just did a fine job. It was her first event back. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she throws a 9.85 on the uh, uneven bars. And it was just great to see her smile. Oh, it was, and it's just a pretty solid lineup. You know, I think, I think, I think Jay's going to go back in the gym on Monday. We're going to see a little bit of a push, a little bit more hard coaching, mm -hmm. trying to get ready for Florida. 49-2-5 on the uneven bars. You gather some momentum, and you go to the second rotation yeah. over on the vault tonight, and you've been looking for legs and landings, and, we, and tonight you tonight did it. Tonight we did it. You know, we um, opened, started with Lamencia Hall again, and it's so pretty in the air, and she's doing a great job. Sydney Ewing just blasted out with her one and a half, had sure a nice did. stick, and I think what happened on, on us for that event, I, I really felt like our competition scores were a little bit high for the execution that they were doing. Our kids went over there and did some well-coached, well-executed vaults, and so it pushed the scores up. Sure. They, what, what the judges did for them forced them to give us a little bit, a little bit of bump on that. Well, that's a good point, Dee. Yeah. Because four season highs tonight uh, yeah. on the vault uh, for Bob Moore's vault team over there. And I'll tell you, go Brittany Ramsey. How great again was it to see her in the lineup after how she has fought and clawed and scratched well, to get back in the lineup? You no, know, wasn't a great vault, but we've got to get her. We've sure. got to get her in the event. We really need her on bars. We really need her to get her ready on floor. 
and I love Maya Hambrick's vault tonight. She brought her her big group in that had that came over yeah. from from uh, West Georgia that came over here to Auburn Arena tonight, and they really they really showered her with a lot of praise. Nine nine two five. Yeah, yeah, Ashley and. Um, Reagan anchored that, you know, one two on that event and really kind of brought it home for us. And brought it home yeah. and Reagan ties it up with a season high there, 995 score to wrap up a 49575 effort mm -hmm. on vault. And now you've gone ahead of Auburn at the halfway point of the meet. Didn't really know there no. until until it got deeper into the event, kind of how everything was shaking out. But why, by the time you went to floor, it felt like the Tigers really tried to start to settle in a little bit. We did and, and they knew they had to create some momentum. We're always talking about creating it and, and getting after each other and then growing on each other's score. Savona starts us off with a beautiful routine and then, and, and nobody tumbles more than she sure. does. And then on her very last tumbling pass, which was beautiful, she moves her feet around. Right. So, you know, that right there, I think, allowed the judges to go hard, you know, hit us hard. Randy, beautiful, does a great routine. We we didn't let her do a full end. We watered it down a little bit. We wanted, we wanted a hit, we just wanted, hit sets and I think we did that throughout right. that lineup. Throughout the lineup yeah. tonight and then Sydney Ewing with the 9825 score for the sophomore from Lafayette and then how about Bugs? She really started to sort of round into this meet tonight. She put a, a huge dagger out there with a 995 ties her career high and it was magnificent. She did and you know her tumbling is just get, is getting better and better. Sure. Opening with the double layout and I'm gonna you know, brag on on her again. She really works hard in practice, and she really wants to. She wants to challenge for that all-around position, and she's doing a super job. Well, she does go on to win the all-around. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I'll tell you, finish up, Dee Dee, over uh, on the floor tonight with uh, Reagan and Mintz. Maybe not quite their their m most crisp performances that we've seen, but still on the road in the SEC. You needed the nine eight and the nine eight seven five. Well, exactly, and you know both of them. Well, Reagan kind of walked around one of her tumbling passes, and then again, she you know she does beautiful, beautiful stuff, and I think she was trying too hard. Right. Just get out there and be you. And Mince's last tumbling pass, two thirds she of the way through. She laid it back, slung it back a little bit. She couldn't find the landing, but her first two passes were beautiful. Right. I mean, she, they would have, they would not have denied her had she have done a little bit better job there. And I, I, and I can't fault the judges on that because we kept giving it to them. We kept saying, here you go, take, take, take a tent, take a tent. 49-2-5 on the floor, and it was a, a, a nail biter yeah. down the stretch and the pressure going to the balance beam in the hostile environment in the SEC. That's about as tough a pressure cooker as it gets, and yeah. your Tigers responded fantastically. They, they did a great job. You know, Erin Mekadag, tonight she got on that beam and she did everything I asked her to do, and uh, very focused, very poised, and uh, her, her, her front aerial, her back handspring, back layout, but that leap combination, that whole routine is a, is a real tight package it is. of great stuff. And she moved through it at a great tempo tonight, yeah, and I did. think that really sent a signal to the judges tonight. Yeah. And that 987 score was really well earned tonight. Yeah. And I'll tell you, she moves right into Ashley Nad, and I'll tell you, Bugs tonight. Uh, she uh, won the all around tonight for the first time in her career, oh, wow. and, uh, and, and the beam was why. Well, and she's a great beam worker. I mean, that's one of the reasons we, we wanted her on our team is for her ability to work that beam. Great coaching age group. You know, her, her mom and dad, her mom really knows beam, and uh, Ashley's done a great job. But, you know, she just, she flows. She's got good rhythm. Her, she's in releve position when she needs to. But her tumbling, her skills, everything was beautiful tonight. You know, I, I've been wanting Sydney Ewing. I've been wanting Sydney to go first. It was an opportunity for us to get Sydney in first, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna keep doing that and sure. keep doing that because I, I really think this is the beam lineup right. that, that's going to be what we need it to be. Sure. So I think after this weekend, um, I got uh, Scarlett Williams, who is standing in the wings and, and does good beam, and I think that's going to be my backup. Sure. And we're just going to move forward and try to settle into that lineup. Well, and Jesse Jordan, the anchor, back in the lineup tonight after sitting out a week, and she just did a fantastic job tonight with a 9925 and yeah. sealed the victory and kept the Tigers undefeated in the SEC. Well, let's look for her in the all-around next week. That, that would be just fine yeah. with me yeah. to have the senior from Manville, Texas, back in the lineup when yeah. we take on the Florida Gators. Now in his third season, as associate head coach of LSU Gymnastics, Jay Clark is really making a mark 
for the LSU Tigers in Baton Rouge and Didi. What a joy it's been to not only get to know him personally, but to see the effect that he's had on these gymnasts. Well, he's such a good friend yeah. and he's so aggressive and, and our our style of coaching is is so parallel. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you what he what he brings to us mm -hmm. is a consistent message. He he never wavers how he approaches bars, how he approaches coaching today, tomorrow and the next day it's going to be the same and I think that that is so important when you're working with college female athletes is that consistency and the consistent message and I tell you what else he's self-confident and he's not an assistant coach he's a partner. Well our Garrett Walbert had an opportunity to sit down with associate head coach Jay Clark and a couple of LSU Tigers as well to take a look behind the scenes at what Jay means to the Fighting Tigers this piece brought to you by our great friends doctors Sherry and Marty Luther. If you're not competing at that moment, engage with these fans. Let's try to create a little bit of something here, okay? Make them want to come back. All right. ball, ball team hit. One, two, three. Ball team hit! The reigning National Assistant Coach of the Year, LSU's Jay Clark, has enjoyed tremendous success at the collegiate level over the last 25 years. Since joining Coach Bro's staff as the associate head coach in 2012, Clark has invigorated the LSU program, helping push the Tigers to back-to-back -back appearances in the Super Six. Clark's ability to organize LSU's day-to-day -day operations has freed up other coaches to work on instruction, academics, and recruiting. Um, there's always something that's on the periphery that people don't really realize. You know, being a college gymnastics coach is, is you, you wear the hats of uh, of a coach, but in the mornings you are actually kind of running a business in a, in a lot of ways. And but I, I try to make sure that Dee Dee doesn't have to deal with any of the minutia uh, that goes on, and making sure that that things uh, run efficiently. So there's a lot more to it in terms of administrative responsibilities than people realize. During his first season with the program, two Tigers earned first team All-American honors on the uneven bars. Randy Wyrick posted a career high 9925 at the NCAA Championships and is a two time member of the SEC Academic Honor Roll. Sari Morrison dominated the Vars lineup in 2013, winning 12 individual titles, breaking Susan Jackson's school record. Under Clark's direction, Morrison would later break Ashley Claire Kearney's record for most Vars titles, finishing with 28 in her All American career. Coach Clark is excited about the early success of this year's Vars rotation. I mean, I think we've been operating pretty efficiently uh, on bars so far. It's, uh, you know, you like to think that in April you, you get everybody on the same page on that day. We saw that once already and it happened to be in the opening meet. And I, I think we're about where we should be. I, I, uh, if you'd have told me we'd have been second in the country halfway through the season on bars, uh, I would have taken it. So I'm pretty pleased with where we are. Clark spent 20 years at Georgia as an assistant and later as head coach, helping the Gym Dogs to seven individual national championships on the uneven bars. And after three years in Baton Rouge, Clark believes LSU's recent victory over Georgia was simply another quality win in the Southeastern Conference. It's, it's good to get any win, you know. I mean, I've got kids on that team that that, uh, that I recruited and coached, and, and, uh, and so, um, you know, you certainly don't relish in anyone else's um, defeat but but uh, but you know I'm a tiger now and so we, we were very excited to get that win it didn't matter who was on the floor. Apart from the national titles and coach of the year awards the testaments given by Clark's gymnasts are what resonate with him. Jay's really an amazing coach uh, he's really such an influence on all of our lives outside of the gym and inside of the gym. Um, in the gym he's a mentor and um, just like kind of a comfort. I feel comforted um, by him every day basically and um, he's so awesome to have around. He's really just a great coach. Personally I have improved a great amount since before I came here due to all of the coaches but Jay especially on bars because he's pushed me to better myself each and every year from you know routine to routine to skill to just breaking down the simplest things. Jay has really changed um, who I am as a gymnast and uh, the confidence in myself and just the way I approach every day in practice and h how I perform, I, it's just all owed to Jay. Um, I just, I have so much more confidence now in myself um, that really helps you in competition because you don't have that much time and he just really prepares you to be the best competitor and the best um, just of everything. Reporting for Inside LSU Gymnastics, I'm Garrett Walker.
Well, our Assurance Financial Performance of the Week, and it's got to be Jesse Jordan, Dee. Oh, without a doubt. That, that was the stick of the week, performance of the week. Last beam routine for the Tigers of the evening, yeah. and it really put the pressure on Auburn, and it, and it totally sealed the deal for LSU. Well, Dee, our LSU social media has been absolutely on fire. The Tigers crossed over 15,000. Facebook likes and I'll tell you the LSU at LSU gym uh, Twitter feed is blowing up as well and it's because our fans just love these girls. Well and you know you gave them a little clinic. I mean you came into our team meeting and we talked about it and you know you talk about something enough it's gonna happen. That's right well and they responded and I'll tell you these Tiger fans are amazing yeah. and they're gonna be amazing on Friday night when the two-time defending national champion Florida Gators come into the Maravich Center and it, it won't get any better it'll be the premier meet of the week in collegiate oh, gymnastics. It's gonna be great it's gonna be fabulous. And I know the Tiger fans are going to turn out and get your tickets. Don't forget on lsuticks.net. You better get them quick too because if it's like the Georgia meet from a week ago, they're going to fly all the reserve seats. You know what? It doesn't matter. There's not a bad seat in the house. You're so right. Not a bad seat. And uh, groups can get them for two bucks, yeah. I understand, if you just give them a call at the LSU ticket office. So it's going to be great fun on Friday night. LSU and the Gators from the University of Florida be there with us and experience what we've been experiencing with this great team in 2015. So for LSU head coach Didi Bro, I'm Mike Smith saying thanks so much for joining us inside LSU Gymnastics. We'll see you next week. Inside LSU Gymnastics has been brought to you by Gulf Coast Office Products, Tiger Spot, Air Now, Flying Tigers Gymnastics Camp, and by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alella with Assurance Financial, lending the way home buyers prefer it.